Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs love tarot reading. All Signs love reading. And as is very often the case, channeled love messages, messages from their higher self their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's going on in the connection, who and what is coming through today. Let's take a look. It's the Five of Wands and the Empress. There have definitely been some challenges around your connection and also around this person. Five of Wands, Saturn, and Leo energy, and we have the Empress here, our major arcana, Taurus energy, Venus energy, also bringing in Libra, divine feminine energy. And yeah, the Empress is connected to the heart chakra, a lot of healing energy, possibilities for, well, yeah, for starting things, fertility, new beginnings, access to all the elements here. This is definitely going to win, I want to say, over whatever is going on here in the Five of Wands. This is a major arcana. This is the Empress. It's looking a whole lot like challenges are going to be overcome here. Obstacles overcome and new beginnings happening. Let's take a closer look, okay? But I'm liking this energy coming in. This is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there is a message here for you. So welcome again. All the playlists for today's reading, messages from your person, all signs tarot, love tarot readings are linked below in the description as well as the channel. You'll also find all 12 zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey, very long, very in-depth twin flame readings. So feel free to explore if you're inspired to do so. Don't forget to like today's video and subscribe. Let's get into it. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see today. I hope. Yeah, look, it's the challenges again. The Six of Wands in reverse. The star. Somebody is all up in their head. As I say that, look. They're hiding their feelings. You've also been waiting to hear from this person. Stuck in their head around here, look at this. Ace of Swords, where their energy is the strongest. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. But here with a major arcana. It's a card of commitments, the Hierophant. Partnerships, contracts, relationships, long-term. Slow moving, but also some issues here. What are the issues around commitment? This person is all stuck up in their head here. They're not being honest. They weren't being honest about their feelings. Look, they've literally been holding them back. The King of Cups here with another major arcana, the Star card in reverse. It's somebody who's been not responding, not communicating. Yeah, there's some... It's this insecurity around how they're feeling or insecurity around approaching the commitment. King of Wands in reverse. It's kind of like, yeah, fear. Also an energy of, here with the Ace of Swords in reverse, of not being ready. Are they not ready for this commitment? Or are they just not ready to talk? Two of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Cups. So, yeah, this is somebody who stopped things from moving, who's the Empress is back, who is definitely indecisive. They're stuck in their head. You, they may have tried to communicate before, or they're just still trying to figure out how to come here. Four of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Moon and Cancer energy. So the Two of Pentacles is in reverse. It's definitely somebody who's who's having trouble with commitment. This is, yeah, look. And it's here with the King of Wands in reverse. It's somebody who wasn't ready, 
who has feelings for you. And I want to say the Empress is back. And they, this is another thing here. It's being honest about their feelings. This is somebody who wants to reveal how they feel and open up, who wants this to work, who wants this new beginning, who is just having what's going on in this other pentacle here in the two of pentacles in reverse, the four of wands. These are yours. So this is how this is how it's going. It's kind of a strange it's kind of a strange pull today. I feel with your getting your 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 reading out is feeling like it feels to get this person to talk. Yeah, look, the emperor and the empress are here. It's in reverse. That's what this is. They're definitely hiding feelings. We know that they're here. They're not responding to messages. And there's definitely an emotional unavailability and a lack of emotional truth, which is what they're trying to get into. There is some fear here, and it is connected to some pride. It is connected to some ego. The imbalance around, actually, your person is really clear. The emperor, the counterpart to the empress. Aries and Mars energy, divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy. And so it's the imbalance around this person, which is really clear. Really clear. And the emperor is in reverse. You know, the emperor is connected to the root chakra. And when the root chakra is not balanced, not centered, not in alignment, it's kind of hard for everything else. They're coming from a place of shadow, ego, fear. So there's a pretty strong imbalance here. How they feel and what they want is clear. Their feelings for you. The King of Cups, the Empress, the counterpart to the Emperor, restarting energy, how they really feel here, the truth. It's something that they're wanting to tell you. Look, Three of Pentacles here, Minor Arcana energy on their mind, Page of Wands energy, literally trying to work up the courage, which is also a really strong energy here in the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So also both of you here, but also this person is just not feeling particularly confident. There are commitment issues here. I want to say past and current energy. Are they getting out of them? Because there's a lot of feelings here for you. And... They're wanting to restart things. The Empress and the Hierophant here, they put everything in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's the setbacks around your connection. So that's where we are right now. And the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, again, it's the lack of balance completely and it's the fear and moving toward you. It's also telling me that you're both here. Nobody's making a move. It's an intense energy. It's a very intense, passionate connection. I mean, we have the Emperor and the Empress, two really strong energies. Definitely some power struggles and the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So it's like in passe, like nobody's making a move, look. Although it's all circling back to this person's commitment issues. One of these pentacles is yours. Is the other pentacle just their ego? For contacting you, yes. For communication, their ego is pretty strong here getting over their pride, just getting out of their head, getting out of their ego. As far as the connection, this can be literally just having trouble committing, just trouble committing, you know, commitment issues. It can also be that there's other connections, like what's the other pentacle? Those are contracts, relationships, partnerships. It could be romantic. It could even be family of origin, other people, the Hierophant here cultural religious differences, whatever that is, it's put this person kind of in an overwhelming energy, struggling. The world card, the cycle is not over between you, you know, the world card is in reverse and look, we're seeing it here in the Empress. She literally, the belly is a world. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius energy. So this is not finished, unfinished business, you could say. But there are definitely some issues. Uh, when, when I talk about travel issues, it could be literal traveling, you know, somebody getting in a plane, <laughs> planes, trains, automobiles. But this is really strong for me of just nobody making the move. It's been stuck. 
and it's going right back to this person who is just in some kind of commitment issue energy, overwhelmed, indecisive, but neither of you have been moving. It's been here. This is the last major arcana before we get into a new cycle and it's not complete. So there's, there's still obstacles. And that's been really clear with the Five of Wands coming in and also the Six of Wands in reverse because that's somebody who wants to come and share how they feel. And look, I'm going to talk about these as well. This is somebody who wants to come and share how they feel. But here in our minor arcana energy is not feeling very confident. Who's not, who's, yeah, trying, they just, the lack of confidence, what can I say? Kind of giving up. It could even be that they are not traveling if there was a potential to see each other or just not sending a message, deleting it if they were writing or sending something. How they feel is really clear. And in the major arcana energy, the star in reverse, this is a really strong validation that they are in ego and they're kind of... It, I don't want to say ignoring it, but yeah, they haven't been responding. This is somebody who hasn't been responding yet. Look what's going on. This is what's going on. This, 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 this is what's happening here. Gosh, it's the Ten of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So this is like both telling me what we already know, that you are on a break from each other. But look at it here with the Five of Cups. This person is missing you. They're regretting how they left things, literally leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. There's a lot of loss here, and it's connecting with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So it's both a validation of where things are. Nobody's, like, making a move. But it's also this feeling like they want this to be resolved for things to lighten up the energy because it does feel, yeah, it, I don't know if sad is the right word. I guess it is. It's that and it's also just what, like, it's just not over, but it's not moving. Yet we see here with the Empress and the Hierophant that this energy of working things out is really strong, wanting to work things out. What is the... Is the fear around something tangible that can't be changed? Or are we just looking at somebody's feelings? Because they are in their head and they are struggling with commitment issues. It's just the question is, is there something else or someone else here? You know, with the ego is just really clearly here why you're not communicating. But in terms of the relationship coming together or moving farther, whatever kind of situation you're in, you can see what's going on in kind of like trials and tribulations, day-to-day -day energy, but you see what they want. It's the Hierophant. And it's a card of commitments. And the Hierophant, Divine Masculine Energy, by the way, is connected to the throat chakra I speak. I speak the truth, my feelings for you, how sorry I am, how I really feel, what I really want, I'm scared. I've I've been arrogant. I haven't been responding. There is some fear here. There's definitely the blocks, pride, ego, fear, shadow self. It's really clear. But they want to open up. They want to reconnect. They want to be honest with you about how they feel and they want to work this out. It's just a matter. I feel like I need to bring in some more because it's just really clear that the person come, it's it's clear to me how they feel, what they want, where things are. Again, what's not entirely clear, let's get a little bit of clarity, is, and did this just turn around? I think it did. Is, is this just all around the overwhelming emotions and commitment and feelings, or is there something else here? Because deep commitment, emperor, empress, the hierophant, is strong here and there's a lot of passionate energy between you two really strong people but nobody's making a move so is this just around that again or is there something else is there another contract that 
is keeping things from moving because this, look at this, this emperor, this king of cups energy, they're definitely holding back how they feel. And they're not, they're not writing or calling because there are some pride and ego issues. But I feel like, yeah, whether it's just commitment issues or there's other contract, that's contracts, that's what's keeping things from moving, moving. Our King of Cups here look connected with the Five of Cups. They're missing you and they regret how they left things. It's not finished. Nobody's making a move, but this is what's going on. This is what they're, this is where they are. The Empress and the Hierophant. Divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy. So we have our counterpart here. We have our Hierophant. It's also an energy of just two, two very similar people, but also two very different people. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, yeah, it could be for some of you, there is a third party energy in the way of friends or family or interference. And it, it can be around a divine masculine energy. And it could really be on either side. The Four of Wands is in reverse and it's connected to the star in reverse. Venus and Aries energy. And this is somebody kind of leaving in person, perhaps walking away, moving out. And whether this is in person or not, it's this energy of discord and kind of moving away, you know, from each other. And it's here with the Nine of Pentacles, which is a really strong setback with the star in reverse. So a sadness around it. It's this person just not responding to messages, not being emotionally open, available, commitment issues. The question really is, and I think you already know that answer, What, what is the reason for that? It can be for some of you that there has been some, oh look, look at this major arcana energy. For some of you, there has been, oh, there's the apology, overworking energy, the emperor here in reverse. And yeah, the nine of pentacles in reverse. So we could also be looking at somebody who yeah, was not balancing their work versus their love life, like giving it more time. That's a strong possibility. It's obviously not going to be for everybody, but the energy is here if it is. So there's justice. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is the next level, and this is why it's in reverse. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. They're stressing about this very much. Look at this, Emperor Moon in reverse, King of Cups, Five of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords. This person is stuck in their head. They're worried too. They made a decision or they're still needing to make a decision that totally affected things. I think they made one already. And again, this is a pentacle. It's around contracts, relationships, partnerships. So both romantic and otherwise, work, money, other people, whatever. Obviously, the stress that's here around the next level is around the two of you. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles giving us this Ten of Pentacles energy, but yet still in reverse. So it's where things are, like the breakup energy, but also telling me that, yeah, something stopped things from moving. That's just really clear. But Five of Cups, King of Cups, look, the Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, the Three of Pentacles wanting to communicate, wanting to work it out, Page of Wands trying to figure out how to come. Because our page, you know, the master for the page is the King here of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And they're both in reverse. So it's sort of like, well, let's go here. I'm trying to figure this out, but everybody's, nobody's moving, you know. The World Card Energy, it's... There are still things to be worked out on somebody's end. But I'll tell you, it's just really clear that this person is wanting to work this out and has wants to be open and honest with you about their feelings and wants to work this out as in come back together or be together. There Again, there's just issues and fear and all kinds of stuff here that need to be dealt with. The Hermit, a strong validation of both the two of you in separation, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. And of course, there could be, um, for some of you, just maybe not communicating well with the person you're here for. The hermit is connected to the third eye chakra, I see. 
self-awareness. You, know, you go here for clarity, for truth. Because when you get out of there, you go and you turn the wheel of fortune. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can by turning that, letting go of what you can't. And the wheel of fortune is connected to the throat chakra communication. You just like send out those the messages, the phone calls. You see where it's going. Nobody's really coming out of here yet. And it's also a validation that this person is quite literally, I feel like, awake in the night. Just even in our Hermit energy, the star in reverse, the five of cups, the ace of pentacles, all of it. It's this energy where they just want to open up. Look at this. The moon in reverse. Third eye chakra. More of the awareness energy, the self-awareness. This is the subconscious energy, what's been hidden. This reversal energy is the truth. This is getting clarity and the truth coming. So this is kind of like what's happening now. It, it is not over this cycle, but things moves, things are happening. You know, things are happening around this person. We see what they want. Justice is here. Getting ready to get out of this hermit energy. They're definitely awake at night. This is just even more validation with the moon. Getting clear about their feelings. That's the thing. There's like indecisive energy. It's like, and I don't think it's, oh, how do I feel so much? It's whatever's going on that's connected. That's not allowing things to move. Commitment issues. Again, is it just around next level that they're free? Because they're freaking out here now. It's like whatever they weren't able to balance or whatever's going on, whatever commitment issues they've had, they've, it's kind of like losing everything energy in the Ace of Pentacles. And you can see here, Five of Cups, King of Cups, the Hermit, the Moon in Reverse. It's just really clear. Four of Cups in Reverse, Ace of Swords in Reverse, that they're up, they're not sleeping. Nobody's moving. They want to move, but yeah, what is it actually keeping them from moving? I don't think it's going to be keeping them for long. That's the thing. We can see what's what they want here. The Four of Pentacles, but this is this is such a strong validation. Just even what's going on in their life. Sun and Capricorn energy. I haven't let you go. I haven't let you go, but I have to work this out first. It's here. The Pentacle is here. Look, Three of Pentacles, Four, of, Two of Pentacles. Whoa! In reverse, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Struggling, overwhelmed, issues, balancing out commitments, perhaps making decisions again, whether it's around other contracts of love, people, other people that aren't romantically related, work, money, whatever. Three of Pentacles, wanting to come together here, work together, work this out. It's a collaborative energy in the Four of Pentacles, a strong validation and the message, I haven't let you go, but I'm trying to work I want to work this out, but I'm also I'm trying to work something out here. And look, it's connected to the Hierophant and the Four of Wands, excuse me, in reverse. So it can be for some of you, just even looking at the energy, the divine masculine, divine feminine energy, that somebody is in a contract that needs to, that's needs to be complete. Whether it's work, another living somewhere else, apartment, house romantic contract, legal or, the, or otherwise, legal stuff, whatever it is, they're needing to work it out. It's pretty strong. Higher font, look, three of pentacles. I haven't let you go, but I have to work this out. I do want to come back together. And I'm sorry, it's energy is really strong. Ton of swords in reverse. Sun and Gemini energy. This is asking for forgiveness. And there is an energy of, yeah, like, Believe me, when I say this to you, gosh, I'm hearing that song, please believe me when I tell you I'll never do you no harm. There's obviously something still going on here, but nobody's making a move. This person kind of needs to be, I feel like, the one to make the move. And there is an energy of, I need to work this out first. But I'm here. It's like, it is like a, well, oh, hang, hang on energy, you could say. Page of Cups, more validation just of the, the fear around the emotion. So it's both the past energy, because this is connected as well to some of the breakup energy, some emotional, 
immaturity, not being honest, the truth, and also just in coming back in here. The Four of Cups in reverse. It's like trying to find another way to work something out here. It's like the day-to-day -day energy. It's the cups. It's love. It's emotions. It's also connected to water, you know, and it's also connected to timing, to the divine. The last energy coming in is justice. And I just need to bring it through that if there is a third party in the way of a karmic situation, perhaps even including some legal situations, that there's a validation of that. Okay? It's real strong. But just in general, it, here, the truth of how they feel, the King of Cups, Justice, the Empress, and what they want is also strong. This is Libra energy and Venus energy. And Justice is connected to the Heart Chakra. This truth coming here, coming out in a healing energy. So even just what you're hearing today of how they feel and what they want, but it's also telling me that there, this truth, this apology, it's, it's so, I know that sounds so, like the truth, apologies. I mean, it's bigger than that. And if you're still here, obviously, you know, <laughs> you're following the reading. But everything that um, up to this point of what they want, what they're trying to do, it hasn't changed. It's just a matter of timing. There's something here that is definitely being worked out. But this emperor and this empress here, there is still, there's still a connection. And I feel like the truth will be coming. It's, again, it's just a matter of time here. I want to bring in some oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go, but I want to move it a little more. I'm not reading it in reverse. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see, Aho. You are my soulmate. I'll tell you what. Look at that. Going in here for clarity, for truth. Getting clarity and the truth and the moon in reverse soulmate connected to the king of cups the feelings being revealed that they have haven't been sharing and sending the star in reverse the emperor's been hiding they've been holding in five of cups regret loss missing you knowing that they made huge mistakes what is regret mistakes regret for things that were mistakes made and things said and things also not said moves that they made here ace of pentacles Obviously, connecting right with the Five of Cups. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Wondering, feeling, stressing, have they lost you forever? There is a wait for me energy, intuition. Second chance energy. But it's not like right this minute, you know? The intuition is connecting with the moon, actually. Also, of course, the high priestess energy, the counterpart to our hierophant here. Yeah, working things out, pulling you together, both of you trying to figure out the direction and, and something they're working out. Hello. And <laughs> that camera, I saw it coming and then I just forgot again. Anyway, you didn't miss anything. What I was saying is that third party energy that I do feel is here could also be around you. You know, always take what resonates for you. If you ever feel like you're aligning with a reading, but it's the energy of that I'm channeling from the person I'm channeling, but you feel, well, no, that's me, or there's situations coming up that are yours, then they're, that's how it's going to get to you. They're yours. Look, so somebody here is writing. It says wish. It's right next to the water. You can see the waves. It's like, look, King of Cups, here, there's a sailboat bringing in Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, of course, communication, clarity, truth, written here, wish, wish fulfillment, wishing for it, wish fulfillment, King of Cups, Ten of Swords in reverse, truth, clarity, the moon in reverse, getting out of the hermit energy. So yeah, I definitely feel like the, the reading that's coming through here today, this is a connection that is... is 
not over, it's really clear, but I do feel like it's a matter of timing in both how you come together and how, what direction you're planning to take because that world here on the belly, that is also the world. We see it in reverse here, but this is the future possibilities. We don't, this could be at any time, literally here, the Empress, you know, it's a full belly, <laughs> you know what that implies. And this wish fulfillment of the Ten of Swords in reverse, the King of Cups, the truth and clarity. So everything that they've been trying to say here and that's been coming through. How they feel, clarity, what they want, what happened here, getting out of these issues, the fear, making the move because it's really clear that, and I say make the move, look as they hold the chess piece, that they haven't been, but they need to be. Like it has to be, I feel like it has to be this person. If you're resonating with it, it's it's you that somebody's waiting on, then, <laughs> then obviously that's also for you. Inner vision. So that's connecting with the Hierophant. Something's coming through here. New beginnings. Yeah, look, getting out of here, going into the Wheel of Fortune, spinning that and communicating. I don't think it's happening right this second, but it could be at any time. It's a timing issue. It's expect the unexpected kind of energy. So there's the soulmate. And it brought in hidden treasures and success and new beginnings here. There's maps and stamps, and it, it's clear for a lot of you, for, for many of you, there is a long distance energy that's here. But also the contact look, hidden treasures, kind of a revealing also, like the Empress energy, somebody's popping it out, they're holding flowers. That's also in an apologetic energy. So this isn't just an apology. There's more than that, but that is here and feelings revealed all of that success. Eventually, this is something that I feel like will be worked out and the person here wants this to. There's just some, there's definitely timing issues. The flower, a bouquet of flowers is both an apology and an offer. Look, there's a letter behind here. There's a star. Here now in the upright energy, wish fulfillment, look, hearing from your person. Because that star in reverse is the lack of that. It's their pride and ego keeping them from even contacting you in fear. Responding, perhaps, telling you the truth. Being honest with you. That's what's been keeping them, that star in reverse. So it's sort of like, look, popping up. It is an, It is really an out of nowhere kind of energy. Like, it could happen literally here <laughs> any day. transformation. This is what's going on around this person. It's bringing in the death card, changes, transformational energy. It's also telling us that, yeah, it's getting out of their ego, pride, getting, overcoming their fear and that second chance energy, but something has to change here first. There's something that is not complete in this person's life. It could be you, it could also be both of you, but it's definitely, I feel like if it's you, it's probably both of you because it's pretty strong around this person. Transition, yeah, it's the energy. Look, there's even a love letter on here. There's a heart, it's like a piece of paper. And yeah, there's, this is kind of like scrapbook kind of energy in some ways. I just wanna see if that, does that say Montana? That's interesting. Transitional energy, that also just brings in some of that Six of Swords energy around communication, like it's preparing here, but there's the communication. Transformation, preparing, there's a preparing energy. It's really, really strong. And there is the energy of I'm trying to work this out. The truth is coming. I know that sounds <laughs> very, gosh, what is that? I'm thinking of that alien <laughs> show. Why can't I think of it now from the 90s? Okay, anyway, because I know that it was for somebody's, somebody needed to hear that and I can't remember. This is like, at, this is at a train station, you know, movement. There's a post office sort of sign here with that skull on it. It's like a, a me incoming message that's gonna change things here. It's just, it really is a matter of timing. Here, yeah, this is, this couldn't be any clearer, look. Communication in the moon. The moon, the subconscious energy, what needs to be revealed. The truth, justice of how they feel, the king of cups, 
the regret that they have, the apology they want to make, what's going on with the commitment issues and what they really want, the Hierophant, the Empress here, how they recognizing the connection, soulmate energy, feelings. This is so goosebumpy. Communication. Divine messengers, three birds, divine timing. All of the, you can see all the writing and the stamps, and it's here with the moon. So the moon is here now, it's back, and it's in the upright. Clarity in the truth, what's being revealed, what's been hidden in the moon energy. The yin energy, the feelings, the moon in control of the tide, of the emotions, when the, the tide is coming in. It, and you can't really predict that. You can, and then it just comes all of a sudden, you know? So this really is a, a message, perhaps, or seeing them, if it's possible, coming out of nowhere. But it's one of those readings where it's not just, oh, here comes a message out of nowhere, and here's the truth, and here's an apology. You've been following me. You know that th there's just so much more to it. It does feel complex, but the what's holding them back from communicating won't be forever. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. And I think I'm going to bring in that deck too. We are a faded connection. So more of the understanding. Our souls are connected. Look. Right here with justice, the truth. Soulmate energy, the moon, they're revealing here. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah. Readings are funny that way. As we came in, I thought, where is this reading going? I hope you still love me. There is some fear around that here. It's really strong. Five of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Worry that maybe you don't. They took too long. We met for a reason. We are a faded connection. Connecting here with inner vision and, and the hermit. That's also uprighting this Ace of Swords, this person who's been in their head, who's been stuck in their head. I mean, it's still here, the energy, but there is a lot of clarity it's, that they're receiving. There's a lot of downloads that's, that are going on here with this person in regard to how they feel and preparing to kind of contact you. Look, serendipity, yeah, <laughs> timing energy. When it's meant to be. Both how you met and how you're coming back together serendipitous. Please forgive me. So there is the apology. While well, it's already here, but it's a validation. And this is real strong. Don't give up on us. Here with the emperor. Actually, I want to put it here. Sorry, the empress. With the emperor and the empress. Don't give up on us right in the four of pentacles. I haven't let you go. I need to work this out first. Connected with justice. Transformational energy. What needs to end? Because that's the other thing. That's bringing in the death card energy. We know it's around ego, pride. But what else are they trying to work out? Does it have something to do with that justice energy? Two of pentacles in reverse? Money, work, people? Don't get... Please, I haven't let you go. I need to work this out. Please don't give up on us. Did you notice I sent a message? So that came through pretty clear earlier. Look, and it's with the Page of Cups in reverse. So it's kind of like, yeah, not really sure they said it right or knew what to say. I don't understand why I'm so connected to you. But I am. You are my soulmate. We are a faded connection. I really do care. Please believe me. Okay, so that's how they're wanting to send these in. I think about every conversation we've ever had. Conversations with you were the highlight of my day. Thinking of you brings me peace. You are my person. The Emperor, the Empress, you are my person. It's not about gender. I think you already know that, but just to remind you, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So wherever you're at, this message is for you. I wish I could tell you what is really going on in my life. Yeah, something's not complete. The Tarot Closet. Channeled Love Messages. Yeah. 
you are perfect. So it's this message of like, there's nothing, you didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. Will you wait for me? Don't give up on us. Will you wait for me? Oh, look, look, it's here again. Don't give up on us. Will you wait for me? Don't give up on us. As I was saying, <laughs> it was right there. It's really hard living without you. You are so beautiful. I'm sending you telepathic messages. Look right here with communication. We are a faded connection. It's the star energy, wheel of fortune, the star energy, fate and destiny, the divine, the connection between you, fate. Sending you messages, really strong soul connection here. I care too much what people think. Third party energy, connecting to the higher font. Again, it could be a lot of different contracts. I will never give up on us. I still want you and give me time. The Tarot Closet Channeled Love Messages. Messages from their higher self. Love notes. I'm hurting right now. Who's sending that? You radiate light. You are so beautiful. Our love is eternal. You are my other half. The emperor and the empress energy. Soulmates right here. Actually, I'm going to put this here. I'm sorry I ghosted you. You are my other half. Oh, yeah, look right here on the soulmate energy. I'm sending you telepathic messages. Wow, it's really strong between you. So goosebumpy. Yeah, that this reading was a little confusing when we started, but it's pretty clear here. You are my other half. You are my other half. Soulmate energy. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. I know it's not for everybody, but I got to bring that through. I feel your energy. Yeah, <laughs> I spy on you. Yes. <laughs> so if you're on social media, they're looking. If you are connected via friends and family, they're talking. They're talking anyway, just maybe a matter of if you know them or not. I miss you. I miss you. Look, I hope you still love me. I need time to heal. I'm hurting right now. Are you sending this to them? I, you know, there's a really strong telepathic energy here. Also dreaming about each other. They're dreaming about you. Moon in reverse, soulmate, my gosh. And the moon in upright, <laughs> this energy, just even in the connection and, and the cards with our, our blue moon. Blue moon. Yeah, bring it in, blue moon. You saw me standing alone. You heard me saying a prayer for someone I really could care for. Gosh, I'm so uh, goosebumpy <laughs> right now. I think of you every day. I'm sorry I hurt you. I've been with I hope you still love me. You are my soulmate. Gosh, you are my person. You are my soulmate. You are my other half. You are my other half. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. The love is palpable here. It's, yeah, kind of overwhelming. I love you. It's real clear. And it feels really, somehow really beautiful, but yeah, a little bit blue moonish, doesn't it? I love you. You are my soulmate. You are my person. You are my other half. I'm sorry I hurt you. I miss you. I think of you every day. Don't give up on us. I will never give up on us. I still want you. Will you wait for me? Beautiful soul, that is your reading that was very otherworldly today. I appreciate you so much for being here. Thank you for spending time with me here at the Tarot Closet. 
I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe if you haven't. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Sending you love. Until then. Bye.